if you treat glass right, it doesn't crack. If you know its properties, you can make things. The color of dusk and night and love. I want the world to be glass. And I think that's what this, this home is. It's, it's all glass. You can see through it. You can sit in and see the world beyond it. It's all encompassing. The house is located in this quaint, uh, sleepy village of Dokaware. It is uh, merely 15 to 20 minutes from the Mandwa Jetty. The plot area is a little shy of uh, half an acre. It's around 22,500 square feet and it's a two-story structure, ground and first. We kind of created a portal over here. It's a very simple, again, PVP coated portal in a champagne finish. So once the doors open, you end up seeing the entire architecture being framed through the portal. And I think that just sets the expectations of what to look forward to in the home. This entire wall actually has a very, very beautiful paneling made in clear mirror and black mirror. The idea is that once you come in, you kind of look at yourself, you know, there's a lot of reflection. And this sort of mirror mosaic also ends up reflecting this art by Nirvair. There is an installation right here which actually reflect the architecture. It's basically shards of metal. For us, there was no other material but glass that could allow for this home to not only be experienced from inside out, but also uh, the home presents itself as a very, very transparent canvas. Uh, so we've used uh, glass in several different formats. Uh, of course, the main glass that is engulfing the home is a DGU. But apart from that, what we've done is that, uh, you know, you'll see glass as lighting elements. So even the elements in the ceiling, whether it's the chandelier in the living room or the, the bedside lights, they are all like glass baubles. It almost feels like jewellery. Um, you'll also see the glass mirror installation in the living room. In the lobby, there is mirror in the ceiling with those ruby cubes. I think we've had the opportunity to really explore how glass can be used in several different formats. When you're designing a home, it's not just about the immediate, it's also about a shelf life. And maintenance becomes a big question, especially when a home is clad completely in glass. We used a nano coat to finish the glass after the DG was installed. I think what that does is it helps in prevention of staining of uh, the glass because of rainwater. This is a holiday pad. It is a bachelor pad. It actually is very voguish. It is very couture. It is, it is pretentious. And the good thing is that we were all collectively in agreement that it should be and why not. This home is a cornucopia of straight lines, glorious galleries and uh, modern materials. It almost feels like the home has a life of its own. It's a home that makes you reflect. It's a home that makes you think. It's a home that allows you to let loose. But most importantly, I think it's a home that makes you love.